One way, that's upstairs where the judges are sitting. Yeah. I love the fire out of Toledo right now. There's a wrap from Liam O'Brien. Opportunity is right in front of him, crushes that section. The man from Burley looking to shut it down and drills it. Beautiful surfing from Liam O'Brien, who's sitting right on the cut. He's in a must-win situation, chasing an 8.01. He might just get his lead back. You know, he should just be looking to just dump some good scores. You know, John John's obviously going to put in an incredible performance. Here he goes again. Big swoop to get started. Just wraps that board right back into the bowl and then just unleashes on that second section. He's on his way to another excellent score here. Zeke Lau out there in the lineup who have now entered the second half of their heat, so they'll have priority. But it's Yago we're going to see. Ah, live oh. action. What a start to this ride. Super explosive. And again, just pounce the lip on the second turn. Quickly becoming, you know, one of the strongest competitors on the CT. Yago Dora really has reached a whole new level of performance these past two seasons. Oh, absolutely. What a way to start off. But again, didn't really find the, the space to truly open up on that ride as Italo comes flying down the ride. And you know what he's thinking. Massive backside reverse. He's hanging on for the finish. Gets out in front. And he sticks it. And that is like a whole new level of commitment. That's a, a dry section. He's celebrating. <laughs> these surfers are on the attack hitting these critical sections that's what John John Florence has been doing during the break he had this one and what do you reckon do you reckon he's going to get into the excellent range at some point here Felicity <laughs> yeah it's inevitable I mean far out I mean look at this turn look at the power and the style just the way he brings it back around and he turns on really pivots on that back arm and here you go we oh, get to see another no. variation of that layback hack Man, he went into that turn in first class. He was just completely flat. Is this one going to stand up? It sometimes looks like it's going to be a good set, and then it slides under the peak. Wow, she's been able to pick it up. She's going to let risk go. She takes what? it, pulls into the pit, and makes it. Carissa goes off the top and belts it vertically, and the five-time world champ just pulled off a miracle moment under priority. Oh, my goodness. And he, he knows if he doesn't go, John John will. You also see the amazing paddle ability of Florence, who is so far inside. Griffin takes this wave. Remember, needs just a 277. Unbelievable down car from Griff. Sets up a nice blow tail in the end section. A big two turn combo. Griffin says, Thank you very much. Snake and Tommy applauding the effort. We'll get that lead change, and we're down to 4.10 to go. Yeah, this is going to be super exciting watching those two women go at it. Two natural footers with uh, no more goofies left in the women's. As we see the goofy standing here, Gabriel Medina crushes the first opportunity. Sets up another beautiful vertical hack with the tail release right back up to the top again. We'll fight through the third turn and just force the finish on the end section. How does he stay on that surfboard? <laughs> Unbelievable. Woo. No mistakes for Medina. No falls in three strikes in this final. She's going to put even more pressure on Betty Lou. As we see here, up and riding a replay of Tatiana. Slams that first section on the backhand. And again, just a critical turn uh, for a second one. Does she get to the finish? Yes, she does. Hits the oncoming foam section. Rides out. Watch the bricks. Whoa! On to dry reef. Wow, you could see her there. Her board just literally stopped as she hit the reef. Will she even have fins now? Wow. You can just look. The, the plug got pulled. And uh, that reef, totally, you can see there the board starts shattering. It's just uh, a gnarly moment there. And we hope that uh, Tatiana is OK. Obviously, we want to make sure she's OK first. And then we'll check the board. But you'd have to think that uh, the fins have been uh, grated down and hopefully they're still in a board. Molly's thinking at least make the final here. That would be her best result this season if she wants a chance to qualify to get to g -Land. Here comes Molly Picklum now. Big oh, sweep, big is. front side hook. Exactly what Richie Lovett wanted to see. 
jams it through the lip. And once again, over the shallow section, oh. she can't help but celebrate one of the biggest power carves she's laid down this season. If she represented there and to represent Italy, Rome, his home. And now to match up against Ethan Ewing. Beautiful opening carve. Second big turn and goes for that finish under the lip. And he's he's got some control to gain in the lineup. Kind of opened the door for him to potentially hang on to a place. So we're, we're waiting to see what unfolds in these last few heats of the day to, to get an idea of of who is in and, and who's going to have work to do tomorrow. But here we go, Geordie Smith trying to get rid of a six at the moment to push the requirement higher for Zeke Lau. Big section there. And Geordie's just looking on today, wants the finish. Hanging on with all he's got. He's there finished that one. He knows the importance of it. Just on the fact that uh, that 7.17 could have potentially been in the nines if he rode out of his final move. So he knows just how crucial it is. Live action. Here goes Florence. One of those beautiful big layback calves to get started. Big open face to deal with here. Again, winds through a, a big rail turn. Now setting up the inside. Hammers the section. And that's the start he was looking for. 25 and a half minutes to go. Trying to put some pressure on Griff and Colapinto and get one back on Griff. And e Ewing's been working on being on the best waves of matchups. Looks like he's got a solid wall now. The Australian deep on this one. Now setting that bottom turn, going right to the lip. Beautiful frontside arc. Back to the open face. Big whip in the pocket. Punches the rebound. Nice and tight wrap and finishes with a fourth maneuver. Can he ride away? Yes, he does. Look at the speed. He's attacking this wave with everything he's got. That's unbelievable. He nearly lost it there. Brings it round. The recovery is incredible. He, the second snap was just world class. Again here. And he just gets a, just squeezes one more in. Son who set the pace early on with an 8.17 and found a 5.33 to back that up. Some movement here. Well, Ethan's he... got that priority and a good looking wall standing up, draws off the bottom straight into a beautiful hook and drops back down the face, climbs back into the open water again, goes to that rail and now looks to set up a huge finish and absolutely drives a nail into the end section. We're not even paying attention to and um, swings pretty late on some of the waves. And he's probably on the way right now and I missed it because I'm so short and you're bothering me. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're back to the action. Thank you very much for your time. Miss Malia Manuel, queen of the box. Thank you, Stace. Well, John Florence, <laughs> you know, we expect excellent numbers from him here, Rich, and uh, he usually delivers. And this one is going to go there. Uh, an incredible tube ride in a lineup that hasn't really even threatened to present that kind of opportunity for anyone else. John finds it and he gets himself positioned extremely deep, knows where he has to navigate that equipment to, to find the exit. It was awesome to watch. Here we go, John, picking up one of the better waves of today. Stays high in the tube. You have to stay high here at Margaret River. Grinding through, it's still going. Pops out the end. And he's not done yet. Hammers that final section. And well, this is just, mate, this guy is unbelievable. The judges have really tightened the purse strings in recent times. And they haven't been dishing out these big numbers, but there was no arguing with this one. John Florence, extremely barreled, came out and slammed the section. He was surprised himself. And there it is, the first 10-point right of the season. <laughs> And John Florence, so deserving. Even that final section was just so turbulent, so much power. We'll go down in September, a one-day event, taking the final five from the championship tour schedule and determining our world champ in a, a thriller, a one-day event to decide the champ. Matt McGilbray up again, trying to get rid of a 6.1. His best performance as a championship tour surfer here. His best numbers driving into the end section. Really committed. And he does very well to reel it in. Great effort from the rookie. That was awesome. And you can just see the guy feels confident in this heat. As we look at a solid one setting up out the back, Ryan Callanan setting up his backhand. Huge wall there. Great timing. 
on the first turn. Ryan back up into the left, drills it vertically and hangs on to a massive backside re-entry, maybe the biggest we've seen today. Oh, but the biggest, I mean, that was absolutely amazing. We will, in slow motion, we'll see his body just get elasticized by the lip and he goes with it. He amazed himself. This is just the most amazed, uh, yeah, he is just going, wow. The reason that he had again, did so much work as this man has too in the Hawaiian ways. Jeremy, look at that long extended bottom turn. Translates into a beautiful carve off the lip here. And this oncoming section, he just gets back through it. A little twitchy, but still brings the theatrics. The first turn is so solid, Reef. Just drove straight up into the pocket. This is a big wave too. Yeah, absolutely. I just love how like long he was in that lip, but just pushing the whole time. And you know, that's so hard to do. Like you can just get blown off the back so easily. And um, yeah, he just did that absolutely beautifully. So, and then goes for this last turn and just lays into that layback, which is sick. Yeah, I, I know what you're saying, Rich, that just that there was a twitch at the end of that ride, but it was because he was pushing so hard. He knew he only had the couple of sections to work with and he was chasing almost a nine point ride. And we're watching the scores come in now and he's gonna love that feeling, a 9.4 for the Frenchman having a look at a wave and then they both got caught inside badly was uh, Tatiana she pulled back just in time to keep herself in the position and look at the size of this one Joe beautiful takeoff Weston Webb chattering off the bottom but drills their first turn nice clean backhand carved with a lot of speed and energy from Weston Webb Sally Fitzgibbons and Stephanie Gilmore competing for the last semi-final spot and Gilmore chasing a 7.67 to chase down uh, Sally. And she's up at the moment. Great first turn. Drives off the bottom into the lip again. A super solid move. Hangs on to the finish. And that's just what Steph needed with 14 minutes remaining here. Sally Fitzgibbons was getting away from her. And that might be the best way of the heat so far, Keely. Right. That I, I think really had that that big audible crunch to them as we see him up again winding his way through that first turn big drawn out car bit of foam on the face and it's no problem for toledo who's powering through to the inside trying to get rid of a 6.67 here loads up again and it's a clean finish he likes the feel of it he he is the man to beat and he's going again late drop well positioned deep has the control to stick it <laughs> And will come flying through the barrel once again. So three ways, three big numbers. That might even be better than the seven. I think it is better than the seven. The lateness, the criticalness of that drop. Felipe Toledo was right there with priority. You can't be so, look, look at the stroke rate. Whack, 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 really fast. Up, drives in, super deep, super composed though at the same time. Makes it look easy. And he's behind it too. Look, whoa, straight under. Better than the seven for sure, I reckon, Ronnie, and he's going to have his second excellent score. You know, the style of wave, the, the way that he's um, been in a rhythm out here, it, you would have to say he's just got the mana. I mean, yeah. As they say in Hawaii, he's got that thing of, a, of a, a local vibe, and, you know, nobody's had that today. Nobody's come close to being on this many good waves over and over and over again, and he has put in the hard yards. He's, as you know, like, he's done so much time out here. He's got that energy. The, he's got a relationship with the wave. And, you know, he's done a lot of work just to get here. He's up against Chloe Andino, who's had two makes out there, but doesn't really have that big number just yet. He's swinging into one now. Late drop, ducks under the lip. Compresses, Ooh. stays nice and low, rides out and celebrates. That was that was an incredible tube, and I was feeling so good for Griffin. I was like, he's got one. Damage that's going to eclipse that score of Griffin's. A bit bigger wave, Ronnie. Yeah, drops down, and it's already well and truly throwing by the time he gets on that tow rail and ducks under the lip. Finding some great cover. We'll see it again here. And you see he gets oh, a little dip there, and he just drove off that bottom into the tube. He's super deep. It's super round. It's spinning while he's in the tube. Comes out more or less after the spin. Can't wait to see it because something spectacular had to happen. Here it goes. She's got the inside position, so she owned that. And this is a smooth insider. Drives and just belts it out of the top. Second turn. Oh, just full rail carve out of the top. Two turns for a 9.8. Powerful, fast, explosive. That's exactly the type of surfing. I think that's the, maybe the most aggressive charging style of attack that we've seen 
from the, for the start of a heat from Lakey Peterson, possibly ever. We've seen great surfing this year. I think it's the, the most aggressive two-turn combo we've seen this year. I, I would 100. Look at that. Wow. She was so low in the water. The whole body was in the water. And Steph's not going to get much out of that ride. Like he's going to pick up on this second wave in the set and right in her face. Let's go with plenty of water. That was salt in the wound, Ronnie. She knew well, she Steph had to herself. shield herself. <laughs> and Lakey is hanging on for the finish on the inside as it goes dry. Her husband, Thomas Allen, cheering her on, as is her coach, Mike Parsons. And that should kiss the six-point ride goodbye because it was a nice, clean first turn and very, very critical on the end section. Great commitment shown at the end there, too. Kind of freestyles. Now he's up again. Blitz is the first section. Straight up for oh, again. Oh, wow. This With is a... Fins flying free. Continues to wrap away. John may just have an edge right now. And this this oh. second turn here is just incredible. Look at the release he got there. That was so well done. I mean, is this the best wave of the heat? I'm probably going to have to say it is, huh? Yeah, I, I think so, 100%. And Italo's probably got the second best wave of the heat now too, so. I mean, that turn there, just to kick it off, you know, you don't need the biggest wave out here, do you? I mean, you've got to get those ones that just hit the reef nicely. Yeah, it's all about the face. Yeah. It's all about the clean face, and that was just perfect uh, wave chill action right there. Wow. Unbelievable amount of variety from John Florence. Late drop, straight into that first manoeuvre. A difficult thing to do. Not a connect, John John Florence though. This guy's got a special relationship with main break. Double pump bottom turn, setting it up nicely. Gets nice and low. And then just really trusting that equipment, trusting that line that he's drawing. And there is that maneuver that has just gathered so many points for him, it's ridiculous. If you could do a turn like that, you would pay a lot of money for it. It's gotta be the best car in the game. When you think about the style he puts on it, the force, of Good pushing out. that board at 100%. The takeoff was radical as well. Yeah, the takeoff was beautiful. And then straight into that first maneuver. So there was no no hiccups. Kept the rail nice and clean through that one as well. I mean, that was, you almost gained speed. You know, a lot of the time you go into a maneuver like that, you kind of lose speed halfway through it. 